Packers. Upstate sees Raven Jefferson drain the first bucket of the evening and make it their 25th in the country in scoring. There's a young lady who knows something. Greensboro, North Carolina. She's taken this team and become one of the key leaders. And she has a nice dish there to Hicks. Hicks scoring inside. Charmaine Edwards handling. How about that bullet she fired in there to Starling, who's able to finish. Transfer from Lakeland College. And they get it in. More importantly, she has given her team a double-digit lead. It's the first time either of these teams have led by more than single digits in the game, though it lasts not very long. Think destined to have it for a moment. Here's Remitty faking the pass down to Jefferson. Shot clock, of course, reset with the last three-pointer from Remitty. And Bullyward settle down here and get a good look. And I think you just saw another player that needs to be key for the Spartans as Bogle waits and takes the proper movement off the glass. Upstate shooting 36% from the floor, but that'll help improve the percentages. And it'll come tonight, only two of 10, but she has found little ways to contribute, and that was one of those we saw on the offensive end. Rattling it down is Starling. Shakes be able to move around and do something with the basketball. They were attacking with Porter in the game, but now Starling comes all the way up top. It opens up an opportunity for Brittany Clinchy. Sims drives the lane, but a nice defensive possession for Upstate. And here's Edwards for three and rattles it down. It's a two-point game. A three ball, and she really knows how to step up at the right time. Yeah, she's really hit some big ones tonight in those key moments where her team needed a good lift. They've been able to find her. Talk about finding somebody. How about Brittany Clancy finding Brittany's They can score and make it so difficult on you on either end of the floor. Here is Clancy. She drops down.